Hello, good evening. Thank you so much for coming to the Sashiko, Sashiko streaming. Ah, Sashiko live streaming. Um, this is the place where you can stitch and listen to my Sashiko stitching while doing the Sashiko stitching. Wait. Is it on? I thought it was on. Just a second, okay? It is on. Sorry. Thank you so much for coming. Okay. <clears throat> Yes, yes, it's it's moving, right? Oh. Hello, hello, hello. Thank you so much. Coming back. Whew. Um, the audio sounds good, so I will keep continuing that. So if you have any issues with the audio, please let me know. And this is not the... I would like to make this one as the kind of place to stitch together while me talking about Sashiko stories this is not a lecture or webinar or tutorials so if you have any questions about such culture or stories please let me know if you have any technical questions please go to the this youtube channel there's a lot of uh, tutorials already um, it would be great if you can check that as well um, besides that i will start stitching and i will start the live streaming where I would like to find my thimble. I have a thimble right now here. I, just, there we go. I had a, another meeting right now and I had a thimble right there and I went to the bathroom and took it off. Anyway, all right. So again, I'm not going to I'm not going to stitch the asanoha today. I will stitch the denim shirt that I will bring to the quilt com. <clears throat> And I will talk about the quilt con a little bit, as well as the um, the lecture I am trying to do, and also a meeting, monthly meeting. I will talk about those three things today <clears throat> while stitching. The first thing is that about the gathering and Sashiko gathering, and also the Sashiko monthly meeting Idobatakai. Uh, you may have received the email from Maiko-san that she is no longer be able to offer continue the monthly meeting. Um, I believe that she wrote everybody that it's the, her health issues, her health concern, and it is very sad and unfortunate, but you know, it is. She was doing this as her, you know, pro bono work and she, I hope she can come back and she will be able to take over this again. But I tried to continue that. And one is scheduled for tomorrow night. And I unfortunately, I cannot do it tomorrow night, uh, which I have to update everywhere. Um, but I will try to schedule it the way she did for at least once a month, uh, ideally twice a month. It was quite good opportunities uh, for us to get together as a gathering, ask questions, answer the, you know, share the stories. So I would like to continue that as much as I can. It's gonna be one, I don't wanna say task, but it is, you know, <clears throat> getting the link, sending to the link, being there for sure. Those can be a little bit of um, extra work, but I would like to continue that as well. So that's that. That's that. <clears throat> so for those who would like to join the gathering, please keep eye on those emails. I will send out the emails from the list that I received from Maiko-san. Uh, you should be, receive some update sometimes next month, not this month probably. <clears throat> What else? Oh, that's the biggest news. Oh, the lecture. <laughs> I have been trying to make a lecture for the QuiltCon. It has been 
more difficult than I thought. <laughs> the workshop, I, I wouldn't say it's easier because it has six hours. My workshop has all, usually six hours in person. And I, I don't say, I never said it's easier because it's six hours. Uh, but because of the six hours, I can make sure myself to deliver the message. And also workshop is, a workshop comes with actual practicing. So my message is more easier to deliver by just doing it. Now this lecture, I'm not going to, you know, present the same same contents as the my workshop. It's going to come from different angle, different perspective, but the message is pretty much the same. Um, you know, how can we respect the culture instead of appropriating the culture? And delivering some some message in 45 minutes without the kind of time to not to waste is quite challenging. Six hours, I can, you know, I can miss a story and then realize I missed it toward the end and I can make it up. But 45 minutes to one hour, I have to make sure that I did not, like, you know, it has to be comprehensive. It, I, want it, I want it to be comprehensive. So, <laughs> long story short, I am suffering more than I thought. Well, it's the first time, so the <clears throat> first time is always the difficult part, but I will plan to have this similar or even exactly same, uh, yeah, it's, it's going to be probably the exactly same uh, webin same lecture on the internet after I come from Japan. So if you cannot make it to the Qualcomm, don't worry about it too much. And it's not like time sense, it's not a time sense that it matters. So you will get the same message at some point for that lecture probably I have to not have to but I would like to charge the same amount as the Qualcomm so it's gonna be like a very rare paid contents for that but I will try to offer that for those who cannot go to the Qualcomm too Yeah, it's, it, it was really, it was more difficult than I thought to put everything into 45 minutes. I do not plan to memorize the uh, draft or those like cheat sheet. I don't have any cheat sheet for the workshop, so I'm not really probably good at reading it in front of them. At the same time, I like to make it comprehensive. So it's, it's something new, it's something new. It's not like here, I have live streaming every Thursday for one hour to one, you know, a little more than one hour sometimes. I don't have any script here. I don't have any, you know, cheat sheet to read around. So technically speaking, I can mumble for 45 minutes in front of many people, but that's not what I would like to do. And therefore, <laughs> it is taking a little bit more than I thought and I just realized that my English is very bleak <laughs> I probably can communicate but when I have too much information in my brain it gets really really weak and I stop kind of like start mumbling I really have to learn how to speak slowly although that's very weird to say that as the you know second generation not a second generation uh, as the second language speaker but i need to speak as slow as possible <clears throat> yeah that's gonna be the next week So there will not be the live streaming next week. Next week we will not have the live streaming here. Um, I will have that after we come home. After I come home. So it's going to be two weeks from now.
Yep. See, I, when I stitch like this patterns or different materials, I kind of stop talking. So I have to make sure I have topics today. It's about Sashiko gathering. So, yep. I talked about that. Okay. What are you working on right now? I'm working on the denim shirt that I will bring to the Qualcomm. I, I can show you. After this much thread, I can show you that. So, I started stitching this one a few years ago, I believe, and then I brought it to the um, those workshops. I I bring I bring this jacket to the workshop a lot, and at some point, in between the workshop, there was a question. Somebody asked me a question out of nowhere, and I wanted to answer that. Um, then I used this jacket as the sample to stitch on. And I kept that stitching on for like almost forever that I completely forgot about it. Then I just realized it's really messy <laughs> without any completing that. So I'm adding more stitches to somewhat make it more complete. Sorry, oh, that's, that's, that's my inner word, inner voice. <laughs> I'll show you the result after this. So this is the, the this is the part I made uh, for like wear, wearing those things. Where, where it's like a uniform, not a uniform, but it's something to wear to go to the workshop. And this one was complete. This side, the back side was completed, but the front one. It, it's not my favorite yet. It, it's not really my favorite yet, but this area was not stitched at all if you see the white line that was the original circle patterns here and it was very incomplete so i am adding more white not white more circle in very different sizes to make somewhat something <laughs> somewhat something it's not my at this moment, it's not my preference. I don't like it that much, but let's see how it's gonna turns out. Um, that's kind of the beauty of keep adding the stitching on. I sometimes say that Sashiko is all about deducting it, like deciding what to not to stitch. So I am contradicting to my own word. This is not the um, substitution. This is not a subtraction. This is completely adding Sashiko, which. I do not recommend, <laughs> since I started adding, the subtraction happens before we start stitching. Now adding is the only one way to make it either worse or better, I don't know, but usually, usually from my experience, if this gets to this level, only way to save it is to keep adding the stitches. And I could be completely wrong. You are going to be the judge for that. Hmm. 
<laughs> it looks like a freestyle patterns. Yeah, uh, it did not. It, I did not mean to make it free patterns, but it looks like free patterns. So you you got it. You got it right. It's just not. <laughs> it's one kind of example of that I would not recommend. We usually plan the patterns first before we start stitching and everywhere every other places on this jacket i started without huh? i started with the actual plan but it was my surprise it was kind of accident that i used one part of this shirt as the sample and in order to make that sample somewhat the part of the design i am adding more so Let's see how it's gonna go. Is this is it neat? Thank you. Now let's see. <laughs> I know some people like this kind of freestyle. Some people don't. It's, it's preference. It's the the matter of preference. So, it's not good or bad. <clears throat> I cannot believe that I'm, I'll be traveling next week around this time. No, actually, today is the Thursday. Next week, Thursday, I'm going to be teaching. God, so time flies so fast. I cannot believe that. I hope that I'm ready. I, I, I'm, I'm sorry, I am ready for the workshop part. My sounds a little mm, arrogant, but the workshop itself is. I have a confidence in my workshop, so, um, in another word, I'm I know what I'm doing. So I'm not worried about it that much, but the lecture is a little bit. I think I have a little high expectation to myself, but. It's a good thing, I guess, so they like to do more than what they expect. You know, meeting the expectation is great, but exceeding the expectation is sort of my <laughs> minimum. You know, they come to that workshop or lecture to experience something, or get something out of it. If that's the case, I would like to do my best to offer. It's uh, we call it N in Japanese. It's not like a circle N. It's more like a. Um, it's very difficult Japanese to translate into English N as the kind of connection, or opportunity to meet, or even fortune to meet. Um, some people say miracle to meet. But like we meet, we have those opportunities to get to know each other, and we believe that that's very rare. It's you know we have so many humans in this world, on this planet, so the fact that we are spending time together is quite a miracle. And we call that N, and I would like to make sure that I, I have enough respect for that so the same thing goes here same thing goes here um you know you're listening you're spending uh, your pref precious hour here while you have other choices to do and my goal is to make sure that i have enough resources for you for them to keep learning what sashiko is so this will be the place to do so. Hmm. 
Yeah, sorry, my nose are a little. Is the winter over? It's really, really warm here. In, is it gonna? I don't know if it's gonna get colder later, but it's quite interesting too. I wrote, I wrote it on the Instagram, but um, you may be here for looking for some. You may be here for the mending ideas or even technique but there's no such a thing as mending technique in sashiko it's just well for that sashiko is not actually the word for technique itself uh, but i do not do that much mending unless i see i really needed to do it instead we stitch first to avoid those mending and the process i'm doing right now is that I'm trying to avoid the mending by stitching. <sighs> what do I do? It's gonna be one. Uh, sorry, my brain is kind of occupied with the preparation that I have to do. Um, suitcase, suitcase. I have to bring my suitcase. Where is my suitcase? You know, it will be a very busy month. The February is one workshop in QuiltCon. March I have uh, another workshop in Florida toward the end. Then I will go to Japan after that. So it will be a very, very busy spring. Sometimes when I am done with all the quilting on the quilt, I find keep wanting to add more stitches, stitched wood and applique. Maybe it needs a piece of other fabric added or some echo stitching in some other colors to highlight the pattern you want to be. Maybe so, maybe so. Um, that's one option to do. Uh, but as of now, I probably won't add another fabric. I will keep stitching on this one layer. And then if I start seeing some of the... Some of... <laughs> some of the... Ah... Uh, Damage! Wow, my English is gone. Some of the damage, I will try to add another fabric. Layering the fabric can be a little bit tricky. Uh, it's like adding the different strength of the fabric to actually existing fabric. So, for the purpose of making fabric stronger, it could go wrong side, like the opposite side of protecting it. And there's nothing wrong with that, but a fabric has like a little personality too. Each fabric has a different personality, not a personality, but different character, different attribute, attribute, different, different things. <laughs> and it's quite, it's, it's, it's probably for some people, it's a probably fun part to find the best fabric for each items. Um, it's actually, you know, probably the most fun part. And that's where cre creativity kicks in. Unfortunately for me, that's the most troublesome part because I don't want to think. So even for this pattern, I'm not really thinking, thinking. I'm just doing it so that I can somewhat... <laughs> so I'm not being creative on this. Um, that's something I can say out loud i'm not proud of it but let's see how it's gonna be yeah layering is really difficult 
it sometimes is necessary, but um, if I can avoid, I would probably avoid it. Or, or if the if the goal is to layer it, I would probably start from the scratch. If we start the project of layering the fabric from the scratch, then the design itself will be fixed based on based on the theme. Like for example, this one is this one has like many many layer, layers of fabric and not many but like probably four at most i don't know if we if we call it sashiko but i could not apply any patterns on that it was around my neck right now uh, but it's kind of two different things um it's the different things in terms of the word or meaning like sashiko then borrow but at some point when we do sashiko stitching we have to start thinking about the boro but first we try to not to think about boro first that's the tricky part they did not want to make boro so thinking about boro is a little bit um kind of unfortunate thing right now it's completely opposite many people try to make boro but for those who practice sashiko it was opposite. Oh, yay. Yeah, yeah, I think I'm, I'm like I think it's gonna be okay like this. I will keep stitching like that, keep adding the circle, different sizes of circle, um, and I would like to try to make a layers without putting the actual fabric layer, like layers of the thread patterns, as if I use the Photoshop to layer the different items. See, I'm doing something creative. I'm doing something creative, which is very rare. <laughs> it is extremely rare to happen to see in the live streaming because I usually do this kind of thing, right? Like always this one because I want to focus on talking. Today the reason I don't really talk much is that I am not. I am thinking what to do with this. I think that whole purpose of live streaming for me is to keep talking. Like more like a radio for that purpose. So I would like to have something that I don't really have to think. Unfortunately, this requires a little bit of thinking. See, no, I was, I could have kept talking, but because I am thinking something else, something else means like, how can I go, how should I go, how, you know, each stitches, and the rhythm itself is really different because of the patterns. That does not ruin anything, but that changes things, <laughs> even right now. Um... God. To be honest, I like the stitching and thinking together, but adding to talk, talking is a little bit challenging. Hmm. I hear something. Sorry, there was some movement. Hmm. 
Yeah, my daughter is getting coughing. I hope she's okay. That doesn't sound good, right? Should I go and check? Well, my wife should be there. Hmm. If she coughs again, I might go. It's a dry cough. I don't like it. I mean, did you hear that cough? There was a little cough from my daughter. Is she awake? Well, well, well. See, like right now here, it's very confusing because of my drawing. <laughs> it's my fault, but it's a little too many adaptation. Yes, I think it should be good like that. I will, of course, share the front side after this live streaming, like how much I could have stitched. But let's see. If there's any questions, please let me know. I might go a little bit early today. I'm a little worried about the daughter's coughing. I will go and check on her and my wife. So I might finish after this much thread. <laughs> the previous time was Sakura and this time is my daughter. Uh, that coughing was not. I mean, again, my wife is there, but I'll try to check on that. I don't like finishing the stitching time without completing the thread. Um, it's more like a ritual. <clears throat> of course, you know, if there's an emergency, of course, I will stop and then, you know, jump on that. But as the kind of ritual, I would like to make sure that I complete using all of the thread before I do move on to something else. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This might be okay. Mm -hmm. So if you're watching this as archive, your question will help me to keep talking in the live streaming and actually two weeks from now i will switch to this one which means i will probably do better job in talking but see right now i have to every time i look at the next line i have to stop and think and then that's gonna ruin the rhythm of me talking so that's the hard part at the same time as if I make, I mean, there's no such a thing as mistake, but if I go to the wrong, not a wrong, if I go to the, the different, different route, it could take much, much longer. It's like, if I want to go to straight, I should go straight to get to A to B, but by not focusing, I could go into little tiny road to waste time. 
and I don't want that to happen, especially when I stitch like this. Oh, seems to be okay though. Okay. See, so I'm adding the stitches here. This much is about the, around the place I added right now. So it's going to be like this kind of flow from the right to left. Okay. Uh, I, pull up, I apologize for finishing uh, earlier than usual. One hour is my kind of regular time, but uh, I heard my daughter's coughing. So I would like to go checking and that. If you have any request for me to talk about any topic, please let me know. Otherwise, I will see you in two weeks. Please check the beginning of this live streaming if you missed that. But I have I had several announcements about the gathering, Sashiko gathering, as well as the uh, lectures. All right, thank you so much, and I hope you have a good night. Bye bye.